Cohen, and I'm here sheltering in place with my husband Tim and our dog Dottie. This is my kitchen studio where I do my watercolor painting. Today I'd like to show you a beginning watercolor technique. I teach the beginning watercolor class at the Carpinteria Arts Center. And if you like what you've learned today, maybe you'll sign up for the beginning watercolor class. To start off with, I wanna just tell you some of the basic materials that you'll need to get started, which you might have at your house or you can order online from Amazon. So to start off, you're going to need some kind of a board to tape your paper to, some kind of watercolor paper, a, a heavyish paper, some watercolor paints. Maybe you have some praying or some basic watercolor paints. These are my uh, paints that I paint with. A watercolor brush with, a, with round bristles, not flat bristles. This is a number eight. You can have whatever number you might have at home. Something a little on the larger size like that. Some tape. This is artist tape, but masking tape will do, or blue painter's tape. A large cup of water and some paper towels and you're ready to get started. Uh, to begin, what you want to do is tape your paper down. That's because when water color paper gets wet, it tends to buckle. And so to tape your paper down, I'm going to begin with the artist's tape here. You want to take a piece that's as long as one of your long sides and you want to line it up and be sure that it's straight with your paper. You can kind of see through it and lay it down, put it on nice and tight, and you can see that it makes a nice straight border on your paper. Now I'm going to ask you to press the space bar and pause the video for a minute and tape all four sides of your paper down to your board. And when you've done that, press the space bar again to continue Let's go. Wet into wet is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to take some water and paint it on your paper. Just paint your paper and get it wet. Then you're going to make some of your paints wet. I'm just gonna use the prang because I figure that's what most of you have. Then you're going to take some wet paint and put it onto the wet paper. Now I'm going to take three different colors and I'm going to blend them together. Remember that they're all wet. I can use my paper towel to control the wetness of my brush. And I'm going to blend those three colors together. Now you can see how they start to join each other because they're all very wet. In fact, I'm going to get the last color a little bit drier so that it's even more vivid down at the base. Now if I want to, I can tip my board. It's a little wetter on that side than I want so I can dry it with my paper towel. And I let these colors blend into each other. Now you might think, well that's lovely, but what's good is that? And I also want to tell you that Watercolor dries about 30% lighter than it goes onto the paper. So we'll come back and look at that at the end of the video and see what color that is when it dries. But come and take a look at this now and see what colors we have right now. Then we'll compare at the end of the video. But you are going to want to do a watercolor picture. And so in general, you'll have a drawing that you want to paint and you're going to do the wet on wet technique. So now I'm going to make a drawing. I think I'm going to draw a poppy for you and we will see these colors, how you can apply wet into wet on the poppy. So I'm going to stop the video for a minute and draw a poppy. I've sketched a poppy for you here. And now I'm going to use the wet into wet technique to show you how you can blend colors just exactly like we did over there. I'm going to add water into my sketch 
Now, the paint will only go where I have put water. Use my paper towel. I'm going to have this color of orange over on the side, and you can see where the paint will only go where I have put water. And in the middle, I'm going to add this yellow color. And now, uh, with only water in the middle, I'm going to let them blend together. Now, in my front yard, I have some poppies right now, which have a lot of red coming up from the bottom. I'm going to add that red color and let it blend in there. Now I'm going to just blend it, twist my paper, and let those colors blend together in a really beautiful watercolor way that you can only do this with watercolors. Now, I could paint this part over here, but you'll see that these colors are going to want to move. See how beautiful that is? They're going to want to move into this section as I add water, and that's okay because poppies, of course, are all beautifully the same color. And now let's add some of this yellow, and let's get some more of this orange in here. And now let's just put a little bit of this red coming up from the bottom. And we're going to let that dry. And we're going to see how beautiful this poppy looks. Now we can't paint the green down here yet because if we did, the green would go up into our flower. So we have to wait until the orange completely dries before we can add to our poppy. Now the paint is dry on our blended section and on the poppy. I can touch it, it's completely dry. We're ready now to paint the stem because this is completely dry. If you're going to change colors, you need to wait for the paint to dry. And you can see that it's dried quite a bit lighter than when we put it down. Thanks for listening today. This is just one of many techniques in watercolor painting. This is called wet into wet. I hope you enjoyed it and you'd like to learn lots more watercolor techniques. I'm Janie Cohen and I'll see you later.